If I was smart about making this video, I would have started here and gone that way. <laughs> this has been here for over a hundred years. And I'm on the sea do on Lake Erie! Whoa! Just for a moment, I was like a couple of mouthfuls of washing up liquid. Hi there, how you doing? My name is Nigel, the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and today we're going to be doing a My Sea Do Life Adventure. Uh, we're getting late into the season right now, we're towards the end of October and the weather is really nice but it has gone cold. Uh, those warm days from the last couple of weeks are completely gone where it's like 20 degrees. It's currently 8 degrees Celsius down here at the waterfront. I thought I'd give you a historical tour of my area. Uh, I live near Crystal Beach, I live in a town called Ridgeway which is next to it so I'm by the water pretty much all the time. Uh, but we used to have uh, two very old amusement parks. Crystal Beach was famous once upon a time for its uh, amusement park, its roller coaster, which once sat there. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. And also down there would be Waverley in Fort Erie. And they also had a very well known, famous uh, amusement park there as well, which is no longer there. We'll check that out as well while we keep an eye on the skies. Uh, up there is Point Abano Lighthouse. We've already done that. So we're going to enjoy this pleasant day on the water. Uh, when I left, it was showing 8 degrees Celsius. Feels like that, 8 or 9. Uh, with no breeze, that sun feels nice. But as soon as you get going, uh, you really feel that little coolness. So I got a... What am I wearing today to keep me dry? Well, I got big boots on. I got rubber boots on. I got a sailing uh, bib on. My Heli Hansen uh, sailing bib. Um, and underneath this, I'm wearing a rash guard. Uh, and then just a sweater right now but I do have a, a, a jacket in here if it gets too cold and if the weather changes I can just nip back and get my Heli Hansen dry top which will help I'll get rid of this and put a dry top on but in the meantime I'm just going to start off like this and see how it goes so uh, let's go out there uh, out into the lake and uh, sit and look at the clouds and have a bite to eat and I'll show you around let's go Beach waterfront. The actual public beach itself is just up here a little bit further. All these properties along here are private and this whole beach as well is private which is a shame really. It's such a beautiful beach and it stretches all the way back down there, comes all the way along, all the way up to where we're going just over there and that's where the public beach is which I'll show you. It goes private again. It's a shame because it's got to be 
kilometer and a half in length. Um, beautiful. Uh, beautiful sandy beach. Yeah, and sh sadly, it's all private. You, you, technically, you're not meant to be on it. Some nice homes along here, um, and amongst the nice homes, there's a couple of shacks. One which has definitely been abandoned, uh, possibly damaged at some point. Just wedged between a couple of nice properties there. Very nice. There's a nice brown building. Look at that. It's nice. Right, just over there would be uh, where the amusement park would be, or would have been, I'll tell you that about that in a shortly. Uh, but just here, uh, this land was owned by a guy called John E. Rebstock, and in 1926 he opened a park land around this area, I guess. And uh, when he died in 1946, it was maintained by his family or whatever. And in uh, 2001, I think I read, uh, Town of Fort Erie uh, bought it, took it over, and uh, basically there's a lot of private properties here that's all private but the town of Fort Erie owns that bit from where those people are standing to about here and in the summer this beach is absolutely packed absolutely packed uh, anyway in 2014-15 uh, the town of Fort Erie like demolished a couple of the old buildings that were here uh, cleaned the whole beach up made a lovely little walkway down here and in 2019 they opened it I actually did a nice video on this place uh, just the other summer which I'll put a link again here yeah, put the link up there this time uh, on that little uh, trip of me, of me walking along Crystal Beach uh, two summers ago uh, which is really cool so anyway this, this place is absolutely packed in the summer really really nice beach uh, thousands of people on it and uh, most of the people when it's not um, COVID times would have come from Toronto, Mississauga, GTA, anywhere basically. Uh, it's a very popular place. This of course is Canada's south coast and the name Crystal Beach comes from the fact that the water is crystal clear. You can see the sand right below me. Sorry about the ripples but you can see the sand and uh, when they stumbled across this place uh, over 150 years ago uh, they named it after the water being so clear crystal uh, crystal beach hence crystal clear waters so there you go all right we'll move on up to here now which is where uh, the uh, crystal beach uh, theme park would have been Believe it or not, once upon a time, a couple of roller coasters uh, were right here up until uh, 32 years ago. Now, if I was smart about making this video, I would have started here and gone that way <laughs> because the person who started the amusement park here back in uh, 1888 was 1888 was actually John E. Rebstock who uh, owned the land down there as well. 
I didn't know that until I just read this bit. <laughs> so there you have yeah, it. Yeah, this was uh, formed as a, a park back in, back in 1888, just doing little sideshows and things like that. Then in 1890, it turned into a full-fledged amusement park. Now, what you see in front of me here used to extend out to about here. They actually demolished this bit about four or five years ago. Uh, but um, from the uh, city of Buffalo, there used to be a, a ship that would come out here. Uh, the Canadiana will sail from Buffalo, which is just over there, come all the way around and pull up here and uh, up to as many as 3,000 passengers will be on these ships and uh, we'll get off here and spend the day at Crystal Beach Amusement Park, which was right here and it stood here right until 1989 when it closed uh, due to uh, poor ownership and ran out of funds and then it was uh, demolished and it became this private community. This is all a private gated community here now. Uh, but this is the old uh, wall, it's still here. It's so sad because I actually really, really love history like that. Um, but sadly, a lot of it has been demolished in this country and it's such a shame it wasn't preserved. Uh, it really is. Now, when we go down to Waverley, uh, very similar down there, but there's still a few relics of the, the old amusement right there. Unfortunately, there's uh, it won't be there much longer, but we're gonna try and get down there very, very shortly. But yeah, this is... Uh, Crystal Beach. All right, before we move on, coffee. Oh, I think I've got washing up liquid stuck in the lid still. Whew, bit of dawn that. Oh, let's go in. Okay, that's better. I can taste coffee now. Just for a moment, I was like a couple of mouthfuls of washing up liquid. All right, while it's nice and calm, we'll head down to the uh, Erie Beach Park, uh, Waverly Beach, which is about 10 kilometers down the uh, lake here. So we'll head down there. here. I gotta be careful, there's a lot of stuff sticking out of the water, way down there too. I don't know, see how shallow it is. I'll try and get over to the beach so we can, so we can get off and walk around, so let's have a go. Let's see if we can do this. Right, I see sand, just gotta get over these little rocks here. Look at that, perfect. And we're in. Sweet. All right, this is part of Waverley. Um, over here is where Erie Beach Amusement Park once stood a hundred years ago. And there's still bits of it being demolished and uh, I've come from the other side before in the vehicle in my car and uh, unfortunately this is all going to be developed back here by developers and turned into some kind of condo sadly but in the woods here there's still some uh, remains of part of the old amusement park not rides or anything just like the concrete structures rails and things like that so uh, we'll have a look around this is all part of the old uh, place as well so Let's have a quick walk around. I don't think my CD is going to go anywhere. I 
as remembered, I was stood here, <laughs> right, right there last year during a storm. If I find the footage, I'll put it on. But that, I just, it just was a walk right past it. And I just remember, I'm like, I've stood here before during a storm. Weird. So anyway, check out all this. This has been here for over a hundred years. Now, I'm not too sure. I think this is probably where the swimming pool would have been in here. Uh, the bathing area. There's also a dance hall here and everything. There's a pier that jetted out there. Look, look at this. All relics of the old amusement park. Perfect day to explore. The temperature's cool, so you don't overheat. Oh, make sure I don't fall down here. All right. Look at this. Hello. Across. See if we can find an old picture of what this place would have been back in its former glory. That's cool. We we'll walk over here. There's Lake Erie right in front of us. Now, <laughs> should see my uh, sea doo in a minute. I watch these holes and don't fall into them. And this is just the beginning of it. It goes way on down there. So we've we'll got to try and check out as much as we can before my battery dies. So there's my sea-doo. Still there. All right. We're going to head down there so we can see quickly before we head back. All right, this place began back in 1885 is Snake Hill Grove which was just a simple picnic area and a group of investors invested and turned it into an amusement park in the early 1900s look old stones here look at these these would have been parts of the entrance ways probably to whatever was there cool there's another one down there as well so yeah these and became an amusement park in the early 1900s um, mainly mainly for the American visitors because Buffalo was only three three kilometers away and a ferry would come over drop people off just like uh, Crystal Beach up the coast there and uh, so on but unfortunately it didn't last long it only lasted just under 30 years and due to the Great Depression in the 1930s, I believe 1933, it, it, it collapsed. And uh, that was it. But, uh, all these concrete structures are still here and many have battered a few storms. Now there used to be something that stood in the water just over there. I, I have pictures of it, which I've documented myself a few years ago. And uh, it got knocked over in the last couple of years. But last year, the year before, in the big storm. It's, it's here no more. Actually, it would have just been down here. But anyway, there's some old plaques here, which will give you an idea of what the place used to look like. So I'll just quickly show you this. And we'll just quickly wander into the woods. Then we'll head back. Keep an eye on those skies. So here we go. Erie Beach Park. This is what it would have looked like. So I'm presuming that is what we just walked around. That. I just walked around it. So my, or is it this? It actually could be this. And my sea dew is right here right now. That's the other wall, what's left of it as we saw when we came in. 
So I think I'm here on the sea do right now. And we're probably standing, looking at that there, I think we're here. Yeah, I think we're here right now. All right, there's another one here. Canadians and Americans enjoying their holidays here. Sad that some idiot decided to graffiti over that and scratch it. The view from the dance hall. So that there is just over there. You can see that. See, I think this is what we walked around. I think I just walked around the front of that where that would have been stood. And not that. That I think would have been here. Yeah, this looks like this was here. And we just walked around that. Now, two winters ago, I documented a storm here. And this was all washed away. And I'll show you a bit of footage from it. From a, I think it was last year, the year before. But there used to be a walkway like this. You'd be able to walk all the way over there, and uh, now it's gone. has washed it away now to put these here because this technically now what I'm going into is private uh, there is a developer which has bought all this and has wanted to build on this land I believe it's a condo there's been a lot of uh, of course protests about it and rightly so this is a beautiful wood by the way look at this tree <laughs> something just caught my eye down there I'll show you in a second but look at this tree <laughs> he's still standing Hello, squirrel. A big bloody hole in it. And a blue rock. Right, there's, there's parts of the park still just lying around in this woods. See, so it just goes all the way there. Not 100% sure exactly what would stood right here. What I'll do, I'll try and find some old photographs online and try and line it up with that so you can find out what it is. Whatever it is, it's circular, I guess. Comes all the way around. But uh, over time, it's grown over. Just seen something else over here. Caught my eye. Oh yeah, stuff on the ground here. Look at this. God, if I was a kid, I'd love to play in here. Like dens and stuff. Now look. It's... Don't know what I'm standing in right now. You see these uh, concrete stumps? Go along there, all the way around there, around here. Someone's built a den there. There's like the, probably some form of ride, maybe, that was here. Uh, over here, there's more stuff like that. Well, this is a good explore today. Kind of news was here, but I've not been here for years. So, I'll spare at the moment. Oh yeah, look. It's quite a uh, fox's den down there. Or a coyote. Hard to believe, eh? Once upon a time, 100 years ago, I say exactly 100 years ago right now, people would have been here playing, having a day out enjoying themselves 
once again another circular thing something would have been on this i need to find out what that is what what was round oh look at this now something was here look at this this has got to be part of a ride this now this could this be a water ride possibly back in the day so uh, not sure what this could have been need to find out All right, there we go. That was uh, Erie Beach. And we'll head back out to the sea -Doo and uh, head back to Crystal Beach. All right, time to get on with the adventure. Oh, we're stuck in the sand. <laughs> this is fucking sand. There we go, we're free. Spin it around and jump on. Oh, just check out the pier bit over here. It goes shallow very quick. Gotta be careful what I'm uh, doing here. As soon as those ripples come like that, you can't see the water. You can't see what's underneath it. So I might not be able to make it over there now, because my view is completely obstructed. Yeah, I don't like that. Three feet, two feet, over the sand. But yeah, that would have been the uh, pier that jetted out there, where the ships would have come. And the amusement park stretched from there all the way to over there. And that is the city of Buffalo, United States of America. All right, hope you enjoyed that little tour around of uh, the local area of where I live here on the uh, Lake Erie, the northeast shoreline, uh, Fort Erie Crystal Beach area. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Going to try and get a few more videos in before we uh, winterize the sea dew. It is getting close to that time of year where I've got to think about getting it done. Uh, as soon as I see that long range forecast, it'd be really cold and it goes indoors and gets the winter eyes. But I'm going to try and keep going for another two or three weeks if I can and hope for the best. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to head back to Crystal Beach. So I'll see you up there.
local people. Is this area a pickup place for like, you know? How's your father? Kind of, yeah, you know what? Because guy keeps staring at me and keeps following it's like you know, he's actually staring at me. I think he's gonna follow me back. Is this one of those places where you know you meet strangers? I'm gonna go back to the beach. He's behind me somewhere. Just kept staring at me in the bushes. Oh, he's still there. <laughs> I think he's got his pecker out. Okay, I'm getting out of here. That's just weird. <laughs> I think this might be one of those pickup places. I'm out of here.